Hi everybody, it's November 17, 2017. I see a lot of YouTubers posting on slaughter bots. What's a slaughter bot? This is a slaughter bot. It is a micro drone. It is a lethal micro drone for a dystopian future autonomous weapons debate. This is a film that was released it was created and released by professors and researchers, academics, on the heels of the United Nations meeting in Geneva, the meeting, the Convention on Conventional Weapons group of governmental experts on lethal autonomous weapons systems. Organizations like the Campaign to Stop Killer Robots are encouraging the United Nations to move forward on international regulation of autonomous weapons, which is great because talking about how these issues will shape the future of robotics and society is a very important thing. However, the author of this article posted here on IEEE Spectrum is not too happy about this film, doesn't even want to embed the film in this article because it's way too violent. It's way too violent, but you can see it on the Future of Life website, Elon Musk's website. So the Slaughterbots video was produced with support from Elon Musk. They didn't want to embed this video in this article because it's just the, the graphic violence is just, it's too much. Um, they or the author of this article is saying that this film is fear-mongering. Fear-mongering and will turn ordinary people off of robots. They will fear robots. Now, this slaughterbot, they have swarms of slaughterbots, micro-drones with explosives, and it's run by artificial intelligence using facial recognition and can pick up specific characteristics and I'm going to show you the film in a second but I think it's interesting here that he quotes the Russian ambassador to the United Nations who states we have nothing to worry about lethal autonomous weapons because they're too distant to necessitate worrying about. That's right. Those lethal autonomous weapons, you know, like drones that drop bombs and kill innocent people that mm, we have been using for many, many years, they're in the distance. So we don't have to worry about that. Are you kidding me? I read some of these articles on websites that you would think these articles would actually, they would not include such idiocy, but they do. So take a look at this film. It's, it's really quite extraordinary. And please do understand this. Considering how advanced we are now with robots, with micro bots, with micro drones that, yeah, can look like hummingbirds and insects. Do you really think that what these professors and researchers, this film that they created, that you'll, you're about to see, do you really think that this is off in the distance or do you think that these professors, one of which I know is from Stanford, or UC Berkeley, I'm sorry, and they released it because they do want regulations. They want the United Nations to regulate this technology. Do you really think it's off in the distance, or do they have it right now? Customer pilots directed almost 3,000 precision strikes last year. We're super proud of you. It allows you to separate the bad guys from the good. It's a big deal. But we have something much bigger.
Your kids probably have one of these, right? Not quite. Hell of a pilot? No. That skill is all AI. It's flying itself. Its processor can react a hundred times faster than a human. The stochastic motion is an anti-sniper feature. Just like any mobile device these days, it has cameras and sensors, and just like your phones and social media apps, it does facial recognition. Inside here is three grams of shaped explosive. This is how it works. Did you see that? That little bang is enough to penetrate the skull and destroy the contents. They used to say guns don't kill people. People do. Well, people don't. They get emotional, disobey orders, aim high. Let's watch the weapons make the decisions. Now, trust me, these were all bad guys. Now that is an airstrike of surgical precision. It's one of a range of products. Trained as a team, they can penetrate buildings, cars, trains, evade people, bullets, pretty much any countermeasure. They cannot be stopped. Now, I said this was big. Why? Because we are thinking big. Watch. A $25 million order now buys this. Enough to kill half a city. The bad half. Nuclear is obsolete. Take out your entire enemy, virtually risk-free. Just characterize him, release the swarm, and rest easy. These are available today. We have a distribution network taking orders from military, law enforcement, and specialist clients. The nation is still recovering from yesterday's incident, which officials are describing as some kind of automated attack, which killed 11 U.S. senators at the Capitol building. They flew in from everywhere, but attacked just one side of the aisle. It was chaos. People were screaming. You can see high windows, very small, precisely punctured to gain entry to the building. What is she the victim? I just did what I could for her. Things weren't even interested in me. They're just buzzing. Government on. sources admit the intelligence community has no idea who perpetrated the attack, nor whether it was a state, group, or even a single individual. So if we can't defend ourselves, then we strike back. We are investing very heavily in classified defense projects. We make it our deterrent like our nuclear deterrent. We stockpile in the millions, the billions. At key facilities. The White House, the New York Stock Exchange, the Wall Street. In their homes. Well, we wish we had boots on the ground in every community in this country, but we don't. So our Ollie? Ollie, oh, uh, hi. Hi, Ollie, honey. How, how is Edinburgh today? How, how are all your studies going, huh? Good. Great. Oh, great. Hey, aren't we doing a video call today? I'm uh, kind of with people, so. Uh, oh. oh, well, come on, Oliver, put her on. Oh, no, it's, uh, it's not like that. Oh, well, listen, I see some photos here with somebody, and I can see lots of likes, and what's that all about? Oh, shit, here, you're not your mom. You got this spy stuff from the military? What? What is this video right here? Oh, God. Uh, no, I'm not going to click on it. It's just this uh, human rights thing on a oppression or whatever. H honey, honey, you're not going into politics, are you? I mean, no, no you're wrong. safe here, just like you said it would be. Police are not saying this morning what prompted the alert. They claim relaxing firearm legislation would be useless against the so-called slaughterbots. Let's just stay away from crowds. When indoors, keep windows covered with cup. Protect your family. Stay inside.
on university campuses worldwide, which targeted some students and not others. The search for a motive is apparently turning to social media and a video shared by the victims exposing corruption at the high. So it's far from surprising. The weapons took away the expense, danger, and risk of waging war. And now we can't afford to challenge anyone, really. It's, it's not even not even the smallest fringe group or a crank. Who could have done this? Um, anyone. Dumb weapons drop where you point. Smart weapons consume data. When you can find your enemy using data, even by a hashtag, you can target an evil ideology right where it starts. So, wow. Think about it. We now have that evil ideology, which is the ideology of freedom, of truth. Can you imagine a slaughter bot just busting right through your window and smashing you right in the forehead, exploding your brain? It reminded me of a video that I posted on Kafka Winston World as I was just watching it with you, so I'm going to pause you to bring that video up. Well, not the video, because that video is gone, but a video that I embedded in the video. Oh, here it is. Let's watch it. This is our U.S. military. God, what are they going to do? What are they going to do? Hmm. <gasps> Those planes drop micro drones? And all of these are the micro drones? And they actually communicate with one another? That sounds like artificial intelligence. Our military already has these swarm drones. Little tiny drones that they release from planes. Just like you saw in that fictional video produced by professors and researchers. They hoping to get the United Nations to regulate this technology. The United Nations well, it's rather useless when it comes to regulating technology. Look at all of the geoengineering. Look at all of the weather modification. Weather being used as a weapon. But they had a convention to stop that. That's right. Oh, I don't think the United States was a signatory, though. All of those little black dots that you see those are all of the micro drones. Cool, huh? The end. Thanks, all. Um, so, when you read articles like, oh, what was that? Nano drone technology? Okay. When you read articles, even in these oh, erudite websites, I-E-E-E, -E -E, and they quote a Russian ambassador who says, mm, we don't have to worry about that because that kind of technology, it's so far in the distant that pff, why bother worrying about it? You know that I-E-E-E, -E -E, the author either has really not done his homework at all or is lying outright. 
So there were open letters to call for a ban on this technology. Um, and, you know, when I see that Elon Musk supports this video, that he too clearly is interested in a ban on this technology, I don't know about that. <clears throat> I don't know. But let's just read uh, a little bit of this. Support for a ban has been mounting just this past week. Over 200 Canadian scientists and over 100 Australian scientists in academia and industry penned open letters to Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and Malcolm Turnbull, Turnbull urging them to support the ban. Do you think it will be banned? I don't think it will be banned. Over 130 leaders of AI companies signed a letter in support of this week's discussion. Noel Sharkey of the International Committee for Robot Arms Control explains the campaign to stop killer robots is not trying to stifle innovation in artificial intelligence and robotics, and it does not wish to ban autonomous systems in the civilian or military world. Rather, we see an urgent need to prevent automation of the critical functions for selecting targets and applying violent force without human deliberation and to ensure meaningful human control for every attack. Well, that sounds reasonable, doesn't it? Uh, human deliberation. Obama was the first the first president to openly kill American citizens. Um, uh, Awa, Alarki, Alaki, Awaki. Oh my God! I'm not doing this video over, but I can't remember the guy's name. But I think that you know who I'm talking about. Uh, he met with the CIA. He was a CIA agent. God, I could spell his name correctly, but I just can't pronounce it. Anwar al Halaki. All right, that's good enough. Um, yeah, this man, without due process, no due process, an American citizen. Yeah, he wasn't in America. He was in Yemen. But United States president openly murders an American citizen without due process, no trial, no deliberation, just based on Obama's word. And then he killed his 16-year-old son who was visiting his father in Yemen. His 16-year-old son who was born in Colorado, killed, murdered. And the American people didn't stand up. Collectively, our voice was very, very silent. And I believe that those kinds of events take place just to see where the American people are. So when we know that this technology exists because we already have on these, uh, this is not, this is Blade TV, but there are military YouTube channels that have videos on this technology. So, uh, yeah, it's here. And thank God that there are some people who are working to stop it. But I don't think any of this can be stopped because we do not have enough people that care and have that activist spirit within them. But we are looking at technology that will take people out without trial, without any human deliberation. They'll just get splat right on the forehead and have their brains explode.